Well, my name is Buck Weimer. I'm Arlie Weimer. It's time to share and pass on some of whatever people would think might be helpful in raising their families. Neither of us wanted children throughout our 20s. And, and it was because I didn't have a father and I didn't want to repeat the same mistakes and have guilt, you know, have my children fear, fear ridden and guilt ridden. After we got married and before we had children, you know, we took about three years and backpacked around the world. When we went on this trip, my question was, what's the good life, regardless of culture, regardless of where you're brought up? What's the truth about the good life? And the common theme was everybody loved their family, whether they had children or not. They loved their family in the best way they could and had that as a value, at least. And they had some kind of higher power. You know, I've uh, experienced parenthood uh, and what a great transition from in a relationship where you have two to when you start having children. It's the dynamics change so radically from a relationship to a group. So the experience of parenthood continues to be one of reaching towards selfless, loving service with the balance between self and selfless. So we continue to be parents, but in a new way. As parents become grandparents, then again, it's a transition that is you know, beyond description, it's beyond words, something you experience. When we talk about morality, then we're talking about the meaning of life. So we adjust to that meaning of life through our moral decision-making. So I think it's critical that in family life, especially that, you know, we're teaching our children about morality because that's how they learn it. That's where they learn it. Often that decision, that moral decision is self-care versus selflessness in service. It's critical as parents, especially when the children are little, to show that, you know, to take that kind of responsibility and know that you be the best, most loving, most caring, most positive, most loyal, most trustworthy parent you can be. And, and I think trustworthiness, loyalty, even if you make, you're going to make lots of mistakes, but in the process, if you know that, that, you, that your children know that you love them and want the best for them, and you will be consistent. So to be trustworthy, to know we're consistent in our behavior and we're emotionally there and responsive to their needs. A lot of self-awareness, a lot of self-mastery. Teach, discipline stay positive and again the consistency the trustworthiness so there's not the deception or there's not the suspicion and 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 the the fear this is the way this is what to do rather than what not to do because whatever you focus on is what you become i mean i would strongly advocate the importance of family meetings it, it can be very difficult uh, at times and it is difficult time because you have to arrive at consensus decision-making and arriving at a consensus decision-making with three, four or five people is not easy as we all know, but the result of that is a growth in, in all the family members and the family as a unit. You know, understanding leads to tolerance, results in friendship and then eventually it's in love.